let's check in with yep. Fran and see what she's up to with all this colorful goodness. Yeah, <laughs> and we're making a beach scene. So we started with some fun little chipboard pieces. Okay. And we've melted a full layer of the Deep Impression Clear. And once we have a chunky layer of that, then any other colors melted on top work really well. So I've melted all of these colors together and we have the sand and the blues and everything. It just makes a whole um, imagery like a scene. And then I'm going to get my stamp ready here with some gold pigment there. Move that out of the way. So this is almost melted. Yeah, it looks it's melted really nice and smooth. So I melted another puddle here with clear and a little bit of blue and we're just going to throw this in because we start to get some interesting bits of translucent color coming through. And then this made some fun little splashes here of Almost like waves. Yeah, it'll just be like the crest on top. And let's see, since these are puddles and it's not just powder, I can heat a little bit more from the top down. That'll kind of move things around. I think we're going to put this back on and that's going to speed up the heating a little bit there and melt the layers together. But there's just so many fun things that you can do, melting all your different types of powders. And we've got some that are opaque, some are clear, some are pearl, and any of them can be used together to create some interesting effects. And I don't know if you got to see up close some of the canvases yeah. back there, but I just connected the tiles that I made here on the hot plate and then using the Dreamweaver paste, secured them onto the canvases in a way that gives you a really beautiful mixed media effect. So, yeah, but we'll just make these into little pins. Oh, there we go. And for all you ladies that, unlike me, still have your buffet warmer there, now you know what to do with it if it's in the closet. I just got rid of mine. Oh, just, <laughs> just when you needed it most, huh? Oh. It's just a nice to get all the heat coming from underneath and here I can heat from the top down as well. We'll make sure this kind of blows into it here. And actually some more of the white chunky will be kind of fun. We'll do another little splash here. And that'll, oh that really came out fun. I like seeing through that clear puddle that we put in there. So now one last like little bit more of heat. Swirl. Yeah, let's do that. So you've got all kinds of tools. I found these little hair picks and by it having multiple prongs, let's see here, we'll do a swirl right through there. That worked out. It really looked like the little <laughs> waves crashing down. Okay, so now just before I take it off the heat, if I slide it, it'll kind of clean my edges. Give me a nice little puddle around the edge. Okay, and now I'm going to take this layer off with my spatula to keep it level. And I've got my stamp. We'll just stamp a little bit off the edge. I can feel it sink in and it kind of slides a little bit, but it finds its place. And then that lifts away. And that looks like our writing in the sand. It's still really hot on the back, but now you've done an enamel painting in a matter of minutes. And what is the name of the powder that looks like the sand? Um, it's sand. It yeah, it's sand? a mix okay. that we've had for a long time and uh, golden sand. Okay. It really um, looks like so beautiful. Yeah. Okay. And then so Fran we'll take this off. Cool painting up the edges. I love yeah. The yeah, we'll put this back on. So it's soft enough that a lot of this would just come away, but I can also roll it pressing against the edge of the, the chipboard and we'll even it out here. 
giving you a nice, but you get a nice puddled edge, just the thickness of the chipboard and just be careful you don't burn any fingers because molten embossing powder is very hot. And there it is. Isn't that fun? Thanks so much, Fran. I hope yeah. you feel better. Okay, thank you. <laughs>